Hi everyone, it's Marcia from Close to Home in Glastonbury with November's block. But before we go to the block, I'm going to do some hot flashes. Some great things have come to the store. You might have seen them or not. Um, but I'd like to take a minute to show you some great uh, stocking gifts. Um, the stash in store, these are very cute come in different colors we have. You can put the things you use um, all the time right at your hand. There's a large and a small size. Um, for your Benina pe Bernina people, um, we have the Little Book of Feet. We've had this before. It is a great um, little gift. You can check off all the feet you own um, and make notes. Um, so you can carry it in your purse and not have to guess um, if you have that foot or not. Also, the Bernina with the foam um, for your large bobbins, the five, four, five, seven um, bobbin size, the large ones. And that's really nice too. It's encased, can't fall out. Um, I'm going to be talking about um, a certain item with the um, block, so I'll go past that one. We do have um, a fabric marker that is water um, takeaway. Um, it's water soluble, erasable, and to go with it though, if you have a, only a little bit of line that you have to take off with water, it's a pen. Um, that you fill with water and it will take away um, your little spots instead of um, using a big cloth if you draw a line. So that's really good. And then on here you'll see that I have some pins that spilled out of my box and if I go over and pick them up and bring them over and this works better uh, when they're on the floor and you have to get all your pins up that you dropped. You just pick them up and release it into your place where your pins are. Um, and that's the Magna Fingers. Um, okay, so that was my uh, commercial. Now we're over to our block for November. It's right here. It has less um, blocks than last month um, that I continually heard great um, news from when you came in. Um, so the pieces you need to get to this block are some half square triangles. There's two kinds. One with um, both of these are my uh, first and second choice. And then this is with my second choice and the fabric that I give you. So you have to make um, four of the this one with the paisley and you need to make eight of the other size, uh, the other um, colorway, which are both yours. And those will appear here, here, and then um, the one with the paisley at the corner. So that's half square tiles. Okay, now we're over to the flying geese, which you need four of them. So you are going to make those using your uh, choice one and that is this for me and you're going to have one block that you cut at five and a quarter by five and a quarter and then you're going to do they call it the no waste um, flying geese so you take the fabric that you're using here and do not uh, realize this as the right size. I'm just making a mock-up. And then you put two of your squares and you draw a line down the middle. You sew a 
quarter inch on each side. You then cut it up the middle and you will have your flying geese. And then you're going to put one on each here and here and do the same thing. And um, this has been in many a blocks and you will end up with four flying geese. The center block part is made with a few of your pieces. You have cut out um, two and seven eighths of your um, number one choice to make four triangles. Then you need your background fabric, which for me is the red. You had cut a block at five and a quarter by five and a quarter, and then you cut it twice on the diagonal, which will leave you four pieces. These are the three and three eight squares for Paisley. And my second choice is right here, the green. Best way to put it is follow the directions on the sheet where you put this, uh, you sew the triangle to this one, the triangle to this one, and then you sew them both together so the green is in line. So that's right here. And then you make this and this, and then you sew your um, triangles to either side. And then when you sew it all together, side to side, and then the little um, triangles, you will come out with this. That makes your whole center. Then you have to make four of these. And this is a half square, and then this is part of your flying geese. And you start with this one. And one goes on each side of the block. You then need to add um, the paisley half square triangle over here and here. So you take this, which is your starting point, add one more block on each side. The paisley will be on the outside and then you sew those to the top and the bottom. And then you've completed the block. I think it um, goes well with all we've been doing all year. Um, there's only one more to go to, to the end of another year of blocks. Um, so I think it when you lay it with your others, you'll see how good it fits in to the um, whole thing. Um, our next block, or the last block, um, will be on the last Friday in December. Um, and I hope you like it. I've been working hard on it. So um, we'll see what you say. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I'll see you soon.